Yeah, I got me a personal vendetta against the spirits right now. So I'm going to continue on with my mission of the demonic dossier. Uh, this is the third. Uh, this is the third profile. This is the profile of uh, what you call the Jezebel spirit. And uh, it's in the book of Kings. And Jezebel basically is this, uh, you know, uh, loose woman who was, uh, uh, her, she's a Baal worshiper. That's the sun god. That could be Moloch. I mean, there's a bunch of different, uh, bunch of different, like, ties to, to, to the religion. But she, uh, basically, uh, it's a spirit of like, look, she married this king of Israel and then uh, basically puppeteered him and kind of like, she's kind of like someone who will go over your head and do things with it. Like, look, she'll do, she loves to do things on behalf of someone else, but really it's like her own connivings. A very conniving, manipulative, deceptive spirit. Uh, anyway, um... You can find her also mentioned again, like way, like many years later in Revelation, that's uh, Revelation 2, 20 through 21. Uh, basically, what this one church and he's like, you know, he's like, everything else you're doing is good, but you let this prophetess Jezebel seduce uh, God's servants to commit sexual immorality and eat things sacrificed to idols. So idolatry, Jezebel loves idolatry. And then there are so many ways you can idolatrize things. I mean, uh, it's all about what you give your reverence to and what you, you know what I'm saying? What you fear, what you respect, you know what I'm saying? So, okay. Um, she's a, so she loves to seduce God's servants, even though she's got all kinds of Baal worshippers as well, dude. Like there's there was like four hundred prophets of Baal, and there was a whole battle between her and Elijah. So and then Jehu is the is this other guy who comes in and finishes her off. Uh so those are two guys you can look at as a, a counter. Uh, look at what kind of guy she was going after and then what kind of dude was chosen to take her out uh basically she got i think uh she got uh, ate by dogs uh, uh elijah also was very afraid of her of her threats you know what i'm saying and for a while he kind of he ran away and wanted to die even though uh God was faithful to deliver him from Ahab and the prophets of Baal, and they had a stand off. But I mean, uh, this that's just a sub, uh, just giving you some background information. Okay, so in Balaam, Baal worship, they prophesy uh, in sex rituals, drunken orgy sex rituals of hard dancing, from what I've seen. But anyway, uh, they're lying prophets. They'll prophesy uh, whatever you want to hear for reward. And, and here's the thing. Uh, during that time as well, Elijah stopped the rain that from the sky uh, for a certain period of time while this girl and Ahab was in power. So, you know, I hear the Ahab spirit a lot, but he's really like, like, uh, it's kind of like a, a person who has power, but they kind of like. They're not really serious about it, man. They, they, they. It's kind of like the dude in Daniel, Nebuchadnezzar's son, when he's drinking and partying with the uh, and showing out for people, and he was using the things of God, and he got judged for it anyway. So a similar thing happened to uh, Ahab because Jezebel killed a person under his authority, so he got he took the he took the rap from God for it. Because God was looked at him like, look, you didn't check your your woman. Now you're guilty of murder. And you know what I'm saying? Uh, anyway, they prophesy lies. And it's also a spirit of witchcraft and rebellion. I mean, rebellion is witchcraft. But witchcraft is also witchcraft. But it's also rebellion. Either way you go about it. If you rebel with no witchcraft, no mumbo jumbo, you're just rebellious and conniving. 
that's still witchcraft. Or if you're into witchcraft, you're still dabbling, you're dabbling in the dark arts. That's rebellion to God anyway. Uh, uh, a person suffering from a Jezebel spirit is going to have heavy narcissistic tendencies. Like, look, see all these narcissist videos I've been watching. The thing about it is, even though they'll entertain the Jezebel spirit, but look, they're, they're really, they, they really downplay that, the, the demonic possession demon in, in this one woman i heard say about the jezebel spirit she said that like a jezebel spirit isn't like a regular spirit possession it's a long it's like someone messed up like like a woman didn't have her father in her life then she marries a bad has a bad boyfriend like who beats her does something steals her money uh or is a cheater and then she becomes a cheater and then she just gets so beat down that she's indoctrinated, brainwashed into believing, uh, you know, all men are evil, so she's got to fucking get revenge. And then really, she's trying to get revenge on every man because of the original, like her father, because her father wasn't there, her father hurt her. That's just one way where the husband did her wrong, or an ex, an ex. Uh, people, dudes in school were mean. Uh, or sometimes because people have such little control, they get t turned on to evil where they're always seeking some kind of control because it's because of the lack of control. If they can connive and manipulate, they feel as if they're empowered, but really they got to attach to someone else and utilize them kind of in a very roundabout, uh, tricky, a real tricky manipulative uh, way. All right, narcissistic disorder and a psychopath. That's another thing. Like when it comes down to it, if uh, people like a woman is a psychopath, if she gets psychopathic sometimes, it doesn't have to be all the time. But, you know, if they have a tendency to go overboard too often, well, it's probably Jezebel. Uh, especially when someone is taxed when it's not even look when it's not even necessary it's like you know what i'm saying it's like you're too comfortable with uh with wrath and revenge and retaliation and retribution those are all nowhere in the bible does it say any of us are supposed to operate under those types of characteristics uh it's primarily in women but you know especially nowadays man uh it doesn't have to necessarily be in women, but it's primarily in women. You know what I'm saying? It's a very controlling spirit. You know what I'm saying? A very tyrannical. It's like a. It's like a. It's like a tyrant. You know what I'm saying? Or it's like a, a contentious woman. Uh, it's better to chill in the roof of a house or uh, go live in the woods alone than in the. Uh, than being stuck with the contentious woman. Anyway, uh, it's very aggressive and it loves to divide and cause division. You know what I'm saying? It loves to turn people against one another and sit back and watch and see what happens. Like there's here's good terminology: gaslighting. Uh, and they love to set up traps and uh, and uh. In a way, it's kind of, you know, it's, 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 there's plots and schemes, man. Uh, the thing about her, too, is very religious. It's just, it's a masquerading kind of self worship. She was a Baal worshiper, which, uh, you know, is basically a god of sensuality. Uh, and it's like in the Bible, it says this knowledge is sensual, devilish, earthly knowledge. You know what I'm saying? Uh, also wants to kill God's actual prophets because they stand in the way of her, uh, her and her, you know, and in, in her uh, connivance and manipulations. Uh, very ambitious, very go getter, uh, go and get, you know what I'm saying? Like make things happen, like by any means. Uh, approval seeking, always is looking for you to join in on their campaigns and uh, agree with. Uh, they're always looking for some kind of agreement, some kind of, uh, you know, approval. They love to emasculate men. That's another thing. Uh, and disempowerment of men. So, I mean, you know, you get them, you keep them. So it's like keep them too fat and oversexed and too much alcohol. How can a man think 
under all those, uh, you know, under all that, always keeping them mystified and dazzled with, uh, you know, with fine reason and pomp and ceremony. Uh, and the reason why the, the di they want to disempower men, it's caused by abuse and neglect, normally by a father, a husband, a boyfriend, a brother. It could be mothers or aunt or other things as well, but it's I guarantee most of it's by the father. There's probably a bad father relationship, uh, and they're they're bitter about it. You know, bitter, uh, resentment. These are these are more terminology that turn someone Jezebel. Uh, it takes it just you got to live in your bitterness and let the root grow, and it will turn into a monster. It'll evolve where you start to take on those characteristics of the Jezzy. Uh, manipulation, deceitful, uh, deception and manipulation. That's another one of their, uh, trademarks. It'd be, she'd be known as Satan's woman, you know, and they also are trying to get positions of power in politics or a religious position so that they, they're in a better position to control God's people. And a very stubborn, full of pride, hates repentance and humility, uses wrath and threats and tries to use fear to control you as well. Uh, those are some of the weapons, wrath and threats and fear. Another one is uh, blackmail, loves to get someone caught up in a blackmail situation where they can get them, uh, you know, basically, uh, you better do this or else type of a uh that's the type of thing of it is and it's also loves to project this 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 uh perception that they have more power than they do another thing you know they love to play on your insecurities or chip away at your confidence so that you're more easily you're more easily overcome they uh they 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 like to see people as objects or like you're in the way of my progress. So that's another way of an object. You're just an object. You're not a person. You're a dog. You're a monkey. You're a dirty little greasy bastard. Uh, and I'm so pretty. And I, vanity. There's another one. Vain. Uh, idolatry. But anyway. And then here's another thing. What they, what they do. After you're used and abused. They reject you. And they move on to the next. Uh, whatever. Whatever obstacle that that they'll use this thing to blast through an obstacle then as they come through they abandon you know what i'm saying the the people that help uh get them to where they need to go i mean it's just the spirit of using and abusing and rejecting uh and then normally on the way out too, look use the blackmail the the wrath uh you know what i'm saying beyond just threats and fear causing fear by threats and intimidation uh like literally if it look like they really hold a grudge and it's you know it's like in the bible it says grudge not lest she be condemned uh they're gonna they're gonna love to keep they're gonna love to get like uh a dossier on you and uh you know what i'm saying and uh Likes to use all that the psychological stuff to uh, once again point to the mountain and strike the grindstone. It's uh, or you know what I'm saying, uh, using uh, using the womanness to to get you to let your guard down. But once you get in, once they get in, you know what I'm saying. Uh, uh, it'll it'll uh, it'll clamp down on you, man. Uh, if you let it. And uh, the spirits work in in uh, as teams too. So Jezebel, like the uh, well, anyway, there's other spirits, man. And anyway, I'm running out of time. Uh, this is uh the Jezebel demon dossier, or actually, you know, it's a spirit. It's not so much a demon, but still the same thing. People will act very demonic when they're under oppression by the spirit and and this spirit comes from a long indoctrination so you can't just cast it out you actually got to reform the person you know what i'm saying through a long uh painful process 